Hello, Libras. Thanks for coming aboard. It's always nice to have you. Remember, you don't have to be a Libra to stop by the Old Swedes Bungalow. If you feel drawn to this channel, this reading could very well be for you. So you might want to give it a try. Okay, let's see who's in your energy, what they're thinking about, how they're feeling, and how you're feeling. Well, somebody thought you would never walk away. It was a huge surprise. You shocked them. They were confident that you would be there. Some of you may be very romantic, you know, just in love with the idea of love. And so, uh, you're maybe looking for the ideal partner. But you were involved with somebody that had too many people around him. Too many characters involved in this story. They brought him into the mix. You may be taking a break from love completely. Just gather your energy. You have an idea about love, how it's supposed to be and how it should be. And how reciprocal it ought to be, you know, right? And things haven't been working out. A lot of you are just taking a break. You don't even want to go there right now. Maybe it's because you need time to recoup. I don't know. But don't let pride stand in your way. If, you, uh, if you're looking for love and hope that new love enters your life, don't be prideful. Okay. This past person, the one that you've been dealing with, the one that's in your energy still, they chase money. Money is very important to them. It's the... Uh, way up on the list, maybe the, on the top of the list. For a lot of you who love this person, your love uh, has changed to pity. You kind of just feel sorry for him now. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you don't want to deal with the heartbreak of, of love anymore, so you've pulled back your energy. Now, this is just specific for some of you. This reading can't be for everybody. Just some of you. Some of you might be a little prideful. You know. So you want to examine your ego a little bit. Make sure you're not overdoing it. A third party is scamming your person. Mm -hmm. They've fallen under some kind of an illusion, or spell, or some kind of mindset where they're allowing someone, or they're not seeing the truth of the situation, and someone's scamming them. Maybe they're supporting someone, or... Someone's blackmailing them. And they could be heavily drinking. Their life could be at a point where they just, uh, they, they might feel trapped, burdened, and they feel that drinking is their only you know, way to forget about the burdens in their life, or to relieve some of the pressure. But of course, drinking is just the opposite. It can only take you on a downhill course. Yeah, your, your heart just doesn't seem to be into this relationship anymore. Yeah, that goes along with a lot of you might be taking a break from love, not even concerning yourself about it right now. Even though you're a romantic person and you really like the idea of being in love, a lot of you just aren't going there. Taking a break. Your heart isn't in it anymore, in this connection anyway. 
and this person is regretful for their actions. Their actions have to do something with this third party they're involved with. And for some reason, they just thought you wouldn't leave them. Maybe they figured you had unconditional love for them. Oh, there was someone that they can control. Okay. Or they thought. Yeah. What well, what's happening is they're with someone that they can control easily, or they think they can. Because this person's submissive to them. When in reality, this person, this third party, is scamming them. Maybe pretending to be someone they're not. Letting your person, we'll call them your person, letting your person get away with things that they normally wouldn't get a, be able to get away with in a true love relationship. T in other words, they're taking it easier. They're being liberal with, uh, with your person. And your person thinks they're, they're easy to control because they're kind of a yes man or yes woman for them. But in reality, there's a scheme behind it. Now you could be re re meeting, meeting a new person, a new romantic interest, out of function. Whether you, uh, you're taking a break or not, because love is always out there somewhere. You never know when you're going to run into it. And for those of you who are starting a new business, got a new job, or getting into something uh, something new, something different, this is going to upgrade your life. So those of you who are moving in a new direction, as far as business or making money is concerned, it's going to upgrade you. It's going to be good for you. But you are attracting jealousy. You might be in the spotlight of some sort, or just doing such a good job that people are, are jealous of you. Those of you who want a new love, you're going to get it. You will get it. And you may very well find this new love at some sort of a, a function. I'm, I'm feeling like you know, a wedding or maybe even a, you know, a funeral or some kind of f party, uh, maybe an office party or something that's put on. Ooh, wow. Now this new person that you're going to meet, those of you who do, you may feel like a real strong sexual pull towards this person. They might be very attractive to you in some way. You might be thinking this is a twin flame energy. Yeah, it looks like there's going to be a very strong sexual attraction between you and a new person if you, if you let it happen. Yep, somebody wants to date you. Could be this past person coming back, wanting to uh, date you, but you know these are the cards falling around the new person. So somebody out there that wants to give you a go, Libra, and you love this person's upbeat energy. Yeah, they have kind of a fun side to them. They're very responsive. Probably tell jokes and things. Make you laugh. Yeah. Now this past person, or your person, we're calling them. Yeah, they're using some kind of substance to get over you. It said alcohol here a moment ago. But 
Could be alcohol, could be drugs, could be you know, what else? Whatever. But it says a substance, so that would be alcohol or, or drugs. And you're starting a new life. A lot of you are just starting out fresh. You're going to put a lot behind you and, and carry on. And I think a lot of you are going to be looking at this new person with real romantic interests, fantasizing maybe about a future with this twin flame energy. Starting a new life with this person. Okay. Spirit wants you to remember to appreciate what you have. Appreciate the things that you do have. Don't feel the need to want or need so much. Just uh, appreciate what you have and give thanks for it. There's a lot of people out there in this world that are a heck of a lot worse off than you, right? Yeah, this person uh, ran to a, a low vibing, let's put it that way. A low vibing, low vibing person just to spite you. And now they're sorry for it. So that must be this third party that they're involved with. For some reason, they wanted to spite you, maybe out of jealousy. Maybe they felt that you weren't giving them enough of your time and attention. Or, or you chewed them out, let them know what you, what you really thought of them. But anyway, they ran to somebody just out of spite. They were angry with you. And you're still healing from it, from what they put you through, but you're starting to feel better. The healing is coming along. You're getting better. A lot of you are asking the universe to send you another soulmate, or just to send you a soulmate, someone that you're more compatible with, someone that... Uh, you can trust and enjoy, have a reciprocal love relationship with, give and take. So a lot of you are asking, well, it's kind of contradictory here. Some of you want to take a break, and others of you, I think that you have a void that you feel like you need to be filled in your life, and you, you just want somebody to share your world with you, and you want it to be a soulmate. Someone you can love and trust. And someone that will love you. Yeah, when you broke up with this past person, they made you feel kind of worthless. Like they didn't really care. Like he didn't mean that much to them. He was kind of, ha ha, well, I'll see you later then. Ha. No biggie. And uh, now they feel a lot different. Now they're regretful. They were arrogant. Now, for some reason, you're holding back on expressing your feelings. And I think that may be with a new person. You might feel like you've uh, been too vulnerable in the past, and now you just don't want to open up that much. You don't want to tell anybody or tell this new person how you feel about them. Because you don't want to be hurt again. You don't want to feel rejected. You just want to play it safe with this new person, even though you feel a, a twin flame kind of energy with this person. Now, a lot of you haven't met him yet. Some of you don't even want to meet, meet him, right? Meet anybody. But those of you who do, it looks like it's going to be pretty exciting, pretty stimulating for you. I think your, your life is going to really pick up. For those of you who have been bored, feeling stuck, you know, you're going to be moving more into the fast lane. 
things are going to get more exciting for you. Moving ahead pretty quickly. Yeah, because whatever happened with you and this person, you're healing from it and you're moving on. Now, those of you who are asking the universe to send you somebody, a soulmate, be careful not to reject that person because you don't believe them, don't know who they are, don't trust them, you forgot you asked the universe, you know, whatever it, the case may be. Don't give this person the cold shoulder. Right now, I believe you're giving this, uh, your, your previous person here, the cold shoulder, though. But make sure that, you, that you're not closed completely off when you meet somebody. Yeah, boy. These cards today are just all about a new person. Making fresh plans with a new person. Um, life moving, getting more exciting. This person's going to be funny and make you laugh. Have a nice warm energy to them. Yeah. So a lot of you might already be making plans with with a new person. All excited about it. Those of you who aren't, you've got the, that possibility coming your way. Yeah. This person in your energy, they have the third party, and that third party is just a stand-in. Like I said, they got with this person just to spite you. And, you know, maybe have a good time, party, whatever, but that didn't last long because they, they can't accept this person. This person isn't doing it for them. And it's probably because this, the third party is trying to scam them in some fashion, maybe just use them, live off of them, I don't know, something's not going right there between them and the person they're with, wow, another new person card, looks like you're going to be falling in love again, Libra, whether you want it or not, oh, I don't know, if you don't want to fall in love, it's not going to happen. This new person looks like you're going to love each other. You're going to fall in love and you're, each, you're going to love each other a lot. That sounds exciting, doesn't it? The true love relationship. Yeah. Especially the beginning of relationships, new relationships. They're always so exciting, fun, you have all this stuff to look forward to, get to know somebody. You never know what's going to happen, you know. It's exciting. Oh, okay. I think you found out that this past person has a lot of uh, lovers. Mm -hmm. they, they can't seem to let go of exes or past people in their life. Yeah. Yeah. They have a lot of people in their life. I don't think you know which ones they're sexually involved with, or emotionally involved with in some way. Or they just have a lot of people. They might be attractive, this person. And so it's easy for them to attract people. But they're used to having many people attracted to them. Yeah, and they use their sex as a tool to control people. So, yeah, they must have some really, you know, good, strong charisma or uh, very attractive or whatever because they can pull people in and uh, tend to hold on to them. And they use their sex, their body, as a tool to control people. Yeah, because they, they have a they have a nice figure, they have a nice body. So 
they're able to uh, entice and use their charm or whatever. Mm -hmm. They didn't think they were going to lose you. I guess they're egotistical and just, you know, feel that uh, they're so good that, you know, people don't leave them. And they're so tricky. They're used to you coming back or accepting them back over and over or whatever, letting them have their way almost, but they used to coming back to you, but you're not having it. You know, I think you've drawn the line in the sand. I said, nope, not this time. Whoa, this is so positive towards a new lover. Yeah, some new love wants to enter your life. And the cards are saying, make room for this person. They're going to be good for you. You're going to forget this past person, lickety split, looks like. You get involved with this new love. Yep, I can't believe these cards. A new love just around the bend. So... Those of you who haven't met this person yet, you're going to. You're going to meet him pretty soon. Just around the bend. And when you do, flirt confidently. You know, if they're laughing and joking and making you feel good, flirt with them confidently. Give them back the same energy, you know. Joke with them, laugh. Have a good time together. Laughing is like the best medicine. Really is. Laughing and the power of positive thinking will take you everywhere. This past person just couldn't share. They might have been a good lover, they might have been attractive and everything, but they couldn't share their love. They couldn't share their emotions, not the way you needed it. They might even have been stingy with money. They just weren't a sharing person. Maybe they couldn't even share how they felt. And at some, some time along the line, they tried to besmirch your character. Tell other people negative things about you or, or say mean things to you. Yeah, because they're jealous. And, uh, yeah, they're jealous of you. And you said things to this person. You were pretty blunt with them at some point. So they tried to besmirch your character. Then after a while you felt like you never really knew this person. Who did I get involved with? There's somebody completely different, like, than I thought they were, right? So you started to feel like you never really knew this person. It was all just a smoke screen or an illusion. Yeah. So the best thing you can do is just venture out in the world and try and communicate with like-minded people. People who think like you. People that are on your level. If you're spiritual, and I imagine you are, uh, hanging out with spiritual people or spiritual group, people that think the way you do, that's good for your energy. And that's good for their energy as well. Because like-minded people, they don't want to get negative and bring each other down. They want to support each other. Support each other's beliefs and attitudes. Yeah, this person was acting. Like I said, it was an illusion. You didn't really know them. And you realized that. They were just playing a role. They were acting. Yeah, very arrogant. 
they were involved with a third party or looks like they since they can't let their lovers go this is this third party could have been already involved with them before you even met them somebody from their past still connected to them so they were just playing a role Yeah, they replaced uh, love with lust. That's why they couldn't really share. They couldn't open up. They... This person's sensitive and has emotions, but they just didn't share them. They were more interested in, uh, you know, the passion, the sex, the lust. They didn't want to, they didn't really care for it tied down serious relationship and I think that's how they handle most of their connections they act through them play a role now this new person that you're meeting they may come off as a little cautious toward you because uh, they may have been hurt or just coming out of a uh, painful relationship or something but if you're acting a little cautious, you may find that they're acting a little cautious too. Even though you're going to have fun together, laugh and joke, they may not want to just die right into a relationship. And those of you who are taking a break from love and might run into this person, you don't want to die right into a relationship any, any, either. You want to test the water, take it a little bit slow, get to know each other, Make sure that you're a good fit, good couple. Okay. This past person may be finding their way out of a troubling situation. They may be trying to break free from this third party. Especially if this thir third party has got something on them, is threatening them about something. Got some kind of hold over them, but they're trying to work their way away from this situation. And it looks like they're going to be able to do it too. Yeah. Well, believe it or not, the person that uh, thought you would always be there, they, they see you as their ten of cups, their happiness, their joy, you know, somebody to marry and have a family with, become abundant with. They're moving in that direction anyway, whether it's you or someone else, your person they want, maybe they didn't before, maybe they have all along, but they just couldn't go there. They want this Ten of Cups, and they're moving in that direction. Now, if you're moving away from them, and you don't want to have anything to do with it, they're still going to get their Ten of Cups somehow. This is strange. Yeah, they might also find someone else that they might be able to have a better relationship with or be able to control. Your, your person uh, is a manipulator and they like to control the situation. And they're with, like I said, this, this third party that they're with, which very well, you, you could be the third party if they've known this person longer. This third party, uh, I don't know. They might leave this third party, looks like, and continue their search for happiness. They may have learned a lot through being with you, and they want to change. Like I say, if they can't have you, that doesn't mean they're going to quit. They still want love in their life, too. But they blew it. They blew it with you by being an actor, by, by being insincere. And you're over here being very defensive. You've got your guard up. 
I think there's been times when you felt the whole world was against you, Debra. But you're holding your ground, and uh, it looks like yeah, you're you got boundaries. You're not dealing with this person. You might even be angry with them right still. You, know, you think they want a second chance with you. But uh, you're not waiting around for them anymore. No, your waiting's over. The whole time you waited, it was painful. Every day got a little bit more painful and a little bit more painful. Till you finally decided something's got to give here. And then you started figuring things out, didn't you? Finding out some of their secrets. Okay, this, your person, we call them your person, whether you want them to be or not. We're just calling them that. They want to have their cake and eat it too. This is the type of person that feels like they should have true love, they should have happiness, they should be able to have a warm family and, and all that, but still be able to be independent and do whatever they want to do. This person, I don't know if they can ever really be faithful because they love their independence and uh, they like attention. And they're going to need somebody that can keep them in a comfort zone or keep them comfortable. They like... Uh, nice things you know, and money like I said this person's very money is very important to them I'm I'm hoping that they're not thinking that they their money can buy them happiness Yeah, you know, being in love makes this person nervous. Makes them get into a hyper, kind of uncomfortable energy. And you may be able to feel that when you were around them. But they just didn't, they just couldn't click or didn't feel like they're getting on board or whatever. They were a little distant, a little nervous acting. You wanted this person to get it together, to calm down, to, you know, realize that uh, you had a good connection and, and you could very well get married and you could have all these things, but this person was kind of erratic. You, were, you became kind of uh, nervous around him too, like you, like you didn't even want him to call or texture or anything like that because their energy is all over the place they, they they don't focus well and they may be being very irresponsible right now they might be instead of facing their problems they might be trying to run away from them You might have felt like you let yourself go, like you wasted money on this person, time and money. So right now you're going to have to be a little bit selfish with yourself or in your favor. You're going to have to consider uh, saving money, holding on to your whatever it is you have, your, your personal power. not being quite so generous I mean with money as well as your time energy and emotions and everything like that I think you might have to start saving up or just watching that bank account mm -hmm. okay yeah like I said all the time that you spent waiting for this person to catch up or get on board or you know became more and more and more painful to you until you figured out that uh, you'd been betrayed by this person 
more than once over and over and that's when you decided I'm not hanging around for any more of this you know they put you into a ten of swords that's a lot of pain and you had to heal probably all on your own and mend every one of those wounds and where was this person they weren't anywhere they weren't to be found were they or if they were they acted like it was no big deal and they didn't care okay yeah they had a really big su su surprise when they found out that you weren't waiting around for them anymore because they did have plans they had plans they just weren't being responsible they weren't living up to these plans that they made with you because they were so involved with other people places you know situations uh, you could have met them at a very inopportune time bad timing you know something like that but they figured you'd still be there at some point they'd be able to connect with you now they see their happiness the bright bright new day in the sun they see that diminishing but like I said it's not that they're not going to get it just because you're leaving or breaking up with them or whatever some of you may not some of you may give this person another chance you might realize their situation and go oh, well yeah it was bad timing maybe I'll wait or whatever but I wouldn't advise that this person is going to get their day in the Sun no matter what like I said they're going to get their ten of cups they're after that ten of cups and if it's with if, if it's not with you they're going to get it somewhere they're just going to have to change they're going to have to change their attitude they're going to have to change their lifestyle they're, whatever it is they're going to have to figure it out and they're going to have to change all these things about themselves before they're going to get what they're what they want if this person was a player I think they want to settle down now I think they might be just getting tired burned out or maybe just even seen the error of their ways but I'm getting the vibe here that they do want a family life they don't want they do want to buckle down and get serious but they also want to have their cake and eat it too they might want to like rope somebody in to marry them or love them or have a mutual relationship well in the meantime they they're just feel like they can do anything they don't have to be uh, committed or whatever which is tells me that you know they want something that they're not ready to to have to work with they got to change they got to do a lot make a lot of changes in order to get this Sun card their Sun cards in reverse doesn't mean they're not going to have a brand new day in the Sun brand new beginning you're having a brand new beginning you are this person wants a brand new beginning too they wanted it with you but that's not happening you know they put you through too much pain and they weren't there when you were trying to heal when you when you really needed somebody they they didn't care yeah they feel like they're stuck now though yeah they have all these wishes and aspirations and desires but they're not going anywhere in fact like whatever they have planned and just blowing up in their face it looks like we put you through a tower yeah and you're you've had to heal from it you're coming out of all this pain this ten of swords that they put you through it made you feel like your world was collapsing all around you it was horrible but the tower card in reverse in this situation here with this ten of swords you're coming out of this pain and you're learning a big lesson from it you're gonna to have to rebuild your world a bit and that's what I think you're doing you're working on yourself like I said a lot of you are actually starting a new life oh your intuition you're tied to the universe spiritually you have very deep connections 
with your higher power. You're, turning, you're showing up as the high priestess in this reading, Libra. Very intuitive. You know the difference between right and wrong. You don't. It's very hard for you to do something that's wrong because you know it's wrong, and because you're spiritual, you feel you're going to pay the consequences. You're going to have karma, so you try to keep yourself positive. You don't want to be negative. You don't want to go to the dark side. Keeping a positive attitude for you is, and, uh, well, right where this High Priestess card fell, your your higher power has been with you and guiding you and helping you through, through the, this tower and all this pain. You went to your, you turned to your higher power and, and it was there. It was very helpful. The universe opened up, up its arms and embraced you. Very helpful in your time of healing. Now this person there, they don't have the courage. They're losing courage. Like I say, they're, they're scattered. They, they might have an idea one day and then the next day it's different. They're not focused on one idea or one plan. It, it keeps changing. They, they have to keep tweaking their, you know, adjusting their plans and their ideas if they want to move ahead. Right now, they they just don't have the courage. I think they're stuck. You know, I think they'd like to come back to you, but they don't have the courage. They're afraid. They may be building up their courage to come back and talk with you, see what they can work out. But like I was saying, they, a lot of you have a new person, or you want a new person, and you might feel it, the energy of a new person entering your life. But So you're not even paying attention to this past person. They put you through too much. You don't want to go there again. Wow. But they're really out to get what they want out of life. And they, they think that, you know, if they can come back to you, they'll get their ten of cups. And they'll also fulfill a, a wish or a dream. You know, deep down inside, this person may always wanted to have a family. Or, you know, find that kind of a, a peacefulness where... Everything's running smoothly. You have a family. Everybody's working well. Money's coming in. You know, maybe not getting rich, but just dreaming about that, that kind of a lifestyle. And they feel that if they could contact you or get you back into the world, that you would fulfill that dream for them. You would be kind of a wish come true that they've always had, but they... They, they, don't, they don't have the courage. They're like non-committal. Like I say, they want to be free as a bird. But yet they want still to have like a committed relationship. And I don't know how that works out. I don't know how that's going to work out. But they just don't have the courage to face you right now. They have hopes. They have dreams. They just can't get up the nerve. They've got a strength card here in, in reverse. They think you're very unique, though. And, yeah, you're starting a new life. You want a whole new adventure. After you had this tower happen, the tower collapsed, brought your world down, you, uh, came into the realization that you just wanted to be free. You wanted a brand new start. You wanted to wipe that slate clean and just cast your fate to the wind. You learned a big lesson through this pain. And your higher power, well, let's say your spirituality became stronger. 
became more powerful to the point where you were able to turn your energy over to your higher power and say, I trust you. I, I want you to, to lead me, to control me. I just want to throw myself into your lap, turn myself op over into your hands, higher power, and just, I just want to take a big chance. Whatever it takes, I want things to change, be more positive, I want a new life, I want to go in a new direction where I feel free and where I feel connected to my higher power and keep my faith in my higher power to keep guiding me and I want to live that kind of existence. Free. You just got the fool card on top of the tower in reverse. So what I'm thinking is you learn a great deal about what it means to you to have a start over, to be free maybe to re revisit your your childhood or your your inner child or or whatever you want life to be simpler and you're willing to take a chance you're willing to turn your energy over to your higher power let your higher power control your your being but you can't just do that. I mean, that's a good thing. That's a good start. But you also have to control your own being. All of us wish we could just turn ourselves over to our higher power and say, okay, I don't have to do anything now except just walk and breathe and eat. It's not how it works. Your higher power is there for you, but you have to help yourself. That's what you're here for. You're here to learn. Learn what you need to do. How to exist, what kind of a lifestyle you need to to have, and then then you have to perform in that manner. Wow, you're in Empress energy as well. Yeah, you learned a lot. You really elevated spiritually. You're a loving person, a good mother, a nurturer. You like nature itself. You're very wise. You're not going to allow negative energy or anything like that to come in and interfere with you anymore if you can help it. Yeah, you just got the Empress card on your side, so that's a great energy to be in, Libra. I think my batteries might be running out, so I'm going to just take a couple more cards. Okay. This past person's watching you. They're keeping an eye on on your movements and what you're doing. Yeah, they're pretty much focused on you. Because they want another chance. And you feel like they want another chance. Do you can feel it? Yeah. But you, you know, you got to let them go. You got a lot of self exploration to do, Libra. You, you want to find yourself. You connected more with your higher power you're you're growing and uh, you need this time to find yourself to get it all together for you yeah you've had a snake in your environment mm -hmm. and that might very well be to do with this person that they're involved with they keep that person uh, kind of brainwashed yeah, they feel like you're competition and they want to keep this person away from you. So they talk down about you. This person, they don't want to hear it, hear it though. They realize that uh, you're not a bad person. Yeah, there's a lot of sexual chemistry coming in. Mm, yeah, you had... You had sexual chemistry with this past person. Yeah, that was a lot to do with the attraction. Yeah, but it sounds like in these cards, you're going to have that uh, twin flame energy with this new person, too. Yeah. 
Now, this person, this past person, they don't think anybody can really understand them but you. Yeah. They don't think anybody can understand them. And maybe people don't understand them real well. They dream about a future together with you, growing older with you. Yeah, that's what I say. I think all along this person really wants to have a family and a home and all that, but they're non-committal. They can't settle down for it. They're, when it comes to having what they really want, they're, they're cowardly about it. You're very special to this person, though. And you are a special person anyway. You're kind of divine. And they never felt any energy like uh, yours before. And they just can't get enough of it, actually. So they do want to come back. But like I say, it looks like you're getting to be with someone else. You're going to be all wrapped up in somebody else's energy. And uh, it's going to be good for you. But anyway... We'll look at this story some more next time. Until then, thanks for stopping by the Old Swedes Bungalow. Peace and love to you, Libra.